Well, hello and welcome to another episode of Dagon Pack News or DPN for short. Our first story revolves around Cyberpunk 2077. You all know exactly what story this is, I'm sure, because I've already talked about it a little bit on Twitter and like everyone has been going on about this. All right. So apparently Cyberpunk 2077 will feature nudity and will allow players to customize their genitalia. It's true. It's true. Cyberpunk 2077 will very likely have a dick slider. So here's the thing. Apparently, if we had to guess, the game is going to be rated M for mature. M for mature? More like M for mmm. You could be talking to a character in this game and you'll be like, is that your sword or are you just happy to see me? Oh no, this is literally my penis. It's my buster sword. Oh my god, we are gonna have such a fucking field day with this game, chat. I'm gonna spend like fucking 30 hours of our stream time with this game playing around with a dick slider, all right? I'm just giving y'all a fucking heads up, okay? I can live out my dream of being a bedicked cyborg dude. You absolutely can, Avoria. Yo, if there's a VR version of the game, Avoria, I'm just gonna spend my whole fucking time just like zoomed in this close. <laughs> I want a cybernetic dick. That sounds fun. Don't forget to do a helicopter yourself, YouTube. That's right, YouTube. Straight from the words of Koobs. All right, so we're already off to a swimming start, chat. First story, and we're already talking about cock. All right, y'all, this is going to be one of those news shows. So for those of you that don't know, in Final Fantasy XIV, there is a character named Estinian. Okay, and he has basically reached meme status about his lack of bathing. In fact, a large portion of the plot in one of the expansions could have been completely avoided if he had just bathed after getting evil dragon guts all over him. All right. But Square Enix... <laughs> Square Enix seems keen on establishing that Estinian does indeed bathe by posting an Instagram-style thirst trap of him. Yes. Yes, Square Enix's official Twitter account posted a thirst trap of Estinian seen here. And before you say anything, chat, that is his foot. That is his foot. That is not his dick. Okay, I, I had to be triple sure that it was that it was that it was his foot and it was not his giant uncut dick. So you can actually see not only is he like all like cleaned up, he's wearing a bath towel, but you can actually see the bathtub in the background there. Take a look at it. Yeah, I think we do need to zoom in because wait a second. Wait a second. Let, let, let's look at that. Let's look at that. Hold up. Look at that. Doesn't that look familiar? Doesn't that look familiar? Haven't we seen that somewhere before? I knew it! I knew it! Geralt lives with Astinian! Geralt lives with Astinian! Oh my goodness, aren't we just learning interesting things about these two? Hmm, I wonder if Triss knows about this. Maybe he gave more than a coin to the Witcher, right, Coops? That's what I'm saying. He tossed the Witcher's coin purse. <laughs> In our next story, Valorant anti-cheat is overheating gamers' systems. It's true. It's true. Users are reporting that Valorant is silently disabling hardware drivers, keyboards, mice, cooling systems and more on user systems without notifying or asking the user. One user reported that Valorant silently disabled his computer's cooling system and he didn't know until he smelled 
melting plastic coming from his graphics card. After turning on some monitoring software, his graphics card was reporting temperatures over 90 degrees Celsius. In response, Riot Games, the makers of Valorant, say, and I quote, We're working on ways to make the experience better. Our current notification pop-ups aren't as good as they could be, and we're looking for ways to give you more control over how Vanguard, their anti-cheat system, works. Wow, talk about some insufficient explanations and apologies. Good God, that's like not even an apology or anything. That's not even an explanation. That's just a, yeah, it might be broken. Fucking deal with it until we fix it. Of course, you might say that with all this controversy, you can say that things are starting to heat up. <laughs> I'm not even sorry, chat. I'm not even sorry. Not even a little bit. I mean, if, but think about this, right? Who knew that cheating was another form of PC cooling? Right? Because their anti-cheat system is actually turning off cooling systems. Wait a second. Wait a second, maybe that's why all those hackers and cheaters wear ski masks at the computer. Cause they're so cold, right? Oh my goodness, it's all starting to make sense now. Finally, I'm starting to understand what that's all about. So this next story is a little bit intense, all right? This, this next story is a little bit intense. GameStop is way too excited about the last of us to dog murder yeah gamestop is very very excited about being able to kill dogs in the last of us 2 because in the product description which gamestop wrote by the way this was not written by the developers they listed as one of the top features of the game and I quote, this is a direct quote. I'm not changing anything here at all, chat. Swear to God, this is what they say. One of the most noticeable new features of the game is the inclusion of dogs. These dogs are in the game to follow your scent and will attack you as soon as they have sniffed you out. The game doesn't pull any punches or stray from the idea that while you're playing as Ellie in a struggle to survive, killing dogs is necessary. You'll also have to deal with the fact, though, that each dog has an owner, which will call out the dog's name and cry in absolute horror when they discover their lifeless furry best friend. What the? Now, for the record, Naughty Dog has said that killing dogs is not necessary to progress in the game. At all. And did you like that pun they slipped in there? Stray? Really, GameStop? Really? They even put quotes around the stray. As in a, haha, get it? Because stray? Because dogs? Ha <laughs> dog murder. Like, who is writing these descriptions for GameStop anyway? Oh. Okay, that makes sense. So if I kill the owner, I get to keep the dog. I wish that were the case, Coops, right? That'd be great. Cannibal cuisine looks like overcooked, but cannibals. Yes. So <laughs> there's a new overcooked-like game called Cannibal Cuisine. Now, here is the actual plot of the game as taken directly from the developers. And I quote, Your god, Hu Chu Bu, is hungry and apparently needs a bit of fine human cuisine to sate his appetite. If you don't want to be devoured yourself, you need to hunt and prepare some specific dishes. Find delicious fruits and vegetables and combine them with freshly chopped and cooked tourists for a truly divine delicacy fit for the god, Hu Chu Bu. 
say developers at Rocket Vulture. Um, like, I'm pretty sure this is the plot to Cabin in the Woods. And like, eating humans is a horrible, horrible... Oh, wait, they said tourists. Oh, that's okay then. You might even say that this game is in bad taste. I never liked Overcooked. Like, why would you want a game that recreates the most stressful job in the world? The only thing missing was a foul-mouthed blonde man yelling obscenities at you, you know? In our next story, Shuckle hides in its shell and makes booze using toe vomit. An alcohol-brewing Pokemon Charmander gives free heat. Pikachu can charge an electric car, but an alcohol dispensing Pokemon? Damn, that's tempting. But wait, the digestive juices come from his toes. Okay, maybe now it's a little less tempting. You know what? Fuck it. Let's just go on to the next story. I can't. So, <laughs> in our next story... Bethesda reminds us that Elder Scrolls 6 is very, very, very far away. Just to put this into perspective, chat, the Elder Scrolls 6 was announced two years ago. Two years ago, the Elder Scrolls 6 was announced. But Bethesda said this week, that it will be years more before we even hear anything else about it. In a conversation on Twitter, Bethesda says that we're going to be hearing about Starfield first, which is another project from Bethesda that we know absolutely nothing about. Don't you love it when people make it a point to remind you of something that is like in no way near being done? Let, let's let's see how this conversation let's see how this conversation goes shall we all right hey do you want the new elder scrolls game yeah is it here not even close you stupid fucking nerd <laughs> yeah yeah that's basically how that conversation went down with bethesda so we have years of silence to look forward to before we ever even get a glimpse of the Elder Scrolls 6. Like right now, with you telling me about this game, that's not out yet. How could you dig it? I know. I am the great betrayer, Chaotic. Anyway, that is this week's Dagon Pack News. If you liked this video, go ahead and hit those like and subscribe buttons. And if you feel so inclined, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this week's stories. I want to hear your take on it. And if you have any stories that you'll want me to cover next week, Leave those links down below in the comment section as well. All right. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.